Kate. I'm interested in nursing and it'll be great to find out what a public health nurse does. Public health nurses are responsible for supporting infants, children and young people to be well and to help them develop healthy habits. Hi. Hi there. I'm Cindy. I'm Kate. Nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cindy Gibb is a public health nurse in Canterbury and she's taking Kate along to help her create a healthy and happy community. So what we're going to do today is talk to some five-year-olds about keeping themselves nice and clean. Kate gets some basic training so she's ready to help take a class of five-year-olds at Belfast Primary School. Hello everybody. Good afternoon, room two. And can everyone say good afternoon to Kate as well? Good afternoon, Kate. Hi, guys. Thank We're going to learn today about hygiene and keeping healthy. And so we're going to talk about washing our hands and blowing our noses and learning how to sneeze properly, all right? Are you guys ready to do that? Yeah. All right, let's get started. Public health nurses are registered nurses that work all throughout the country. We mostly work with children between the ages of 5 and 18 and we work with their families as well. We work trying to promote healthy lifestyles and healthy living. Ah, 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 achoo! Who got sneezed on? Did anyone feel some water? Yes. Yeah? I didn't. Now that wasn't a real sneeze, was it? No, it was a pretend sneeze. When we're working with young people, um, you need to find a way of putting the message across in a way that they can understand, in a way that appeals. And so just using things as, as age-appropriate as you can really, really helps to drive that message home. OK, well, first you need to breathe in through your mouth and close your lips tightly, blow out firmly into your tissue and put your tissue in the bin. And it's really important to wash your hands after that. Do you guys think that you can blow your nose? So the value of teaching a child when they're five about how to look after themselves and how to be hygienic means that they're developing that responsibility for those skills, which means that as they grow, they're not as reliant upon somebody else to teach them that. Um, so that means that as they hit teenage years and even into adulthood, they have um, those concepts about what makes to, to keep yourself healthy. The role of having a public health nurse in our school is invaluable for us. I mean, the child's general health is very, very important to their, to their learning, to their brain activity, and it's good to know that we've got someone a professional that we can go to if we need to ask any questions. Having taught the children about the transference of bugs and effective hand washing, Kate and Cindy are off to their next appointment. All right, Kate, welcome to Avonside Girls High. Now we're here, we're going to hold a youth health clinic today at lunchtime and students are going to come and see us for a whole variety of, of health needs that they might have. Okay. So um, let's go and see who's going to turn up and see us today. Cool. All right. Cindy briefs Kate on some of the things that might come up during the clinic. Um, and with the lunchtime bell, they get their first client. The curtains are drawn and the conversation is completely confidential, so students can talk about issues that may be difficult to discuss with parents or other adults. I wanted to talk about, I really want to quit smoking. Okay, so, um, so tell me a bit more about that. You're smoking at the moment. Yes. How much are you smoking? Um, four to five cigarettes a day. Four to five, um, yeah. Mostly just after school with my friends. Okay. Many people start smoking when they're in their teenage years and, and just continue to do so because of its addictive nature, okay. um, which obviously causes a lot of damage to their health and also financially it has impacts on the country as a whole as well. Yeah. So if we can help young people to stop smoking when they're still at school, then that's, that's really fantastic. It's going to make changes for them personally, but also on a much broader level as well. There are a range of quit smoking support programs available in New Zealand, which are also helpful for you. And there's also lots of other support groups that are available in New Zealand, such as you probably heard of Quitline, have you heard of them? Yep. It's Cindy's job to get kids in touch with these options, but it's not just smoking, there's a whole lot of issues that Cindy deals with at her clinics. So, who wants to tell me, why are you, why are you guys here today? Well, we just wanted to know more about nutrition, health, eating and stuff. I came into public health nursing because I really want to make a difference in, in the health of New Zealanders and this is one way I can do it. I can help people while they are healthy and help to keep them healthy rather than see them when they are 
sick and then to try and help them to, to get back to that healthy stage. I love working with children and young people and to work alongside their families to have that, that chance to be in the best possible healthy place that they can be. The lunchtime clinic is over and they have another appointment to travel to. Cindy is working with Angela to help make some important decisions about her four-year-old's health. I can see here that um, except for the four-year-old immunisation, she's doing really good and she's had all of those. But that's OK because she can have that soon, can't she? Yes, she can. OK. The role of public health nurse is really broad and varied. Um, no two days are the same. You are constantly um, having the phone ring and, and you don't know who's going to be on the end of the phone. As, and, and so it's ever-changing. If I look at my diary, every single day is different. I have different plans. We go to meetings. We, um, you know, out in the community helping to support out there. Um, it's just, it's really, really different and really exciting. Kate has experienced quite a few different aspects of the job. So how did she measure up? Yeah, she went really well. She, um, she showed that she's obviously really enthusiastic about working with children and young people. Well, I love working with the primary school children and yeah, it felt really great to help out. To become a public health nurse, you need to have a Bachelor of Nursing, which takes three years full time to complete. You also need to be registered with the Nursing Council of New Zealand and have a current annual practicing certificate. Public health nurses take part in regular training courses, workshops and seminars to maintain their skills and knowledge. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.